Folks, I know you can't believe it, I know I can't believe it, and yet it is true. Mana Lords is playable right now, you can create your favorite sigil, select a person that looks one-to-one -one like you, and then jump into it. This is a demo that is available, lets you do uh, a couple of first tutorial missions basically, and then build your city, or rather your village, as you see fit. And this is only available for the next seven days because this is a part of the Steam Next Fest and you should definitely play it. One thing that is very important as I zoom out here and show this massive, massive map that you will probably not at all interact with because you will mostly, of course, uh, actually be in the region that you start in. I have to tell you that you can't save and reload in this game either. You just do what you do, so make sure that you have plenty of time when you play it. Um, there's a lot to be said about this game and I would like to use this video to basically do just that. This is a city builder that promises to be a bit different, although I think there are a bunch of city builders, especially in recent years, that follow the same schematic. Foundation, of course, I think is the poster child in this aspect, where sometimes, much like we here, are watching the oxen tow this beautiful, beautiful uh, lum or, or timber, uh, we're looking at a situation where they are also encouraging you to simply build a city for the sake of building a city. As much as, of course, the research tree and everything going on in this game, I think, also encourages you to optimize. You simply are welcome to build your own world, to build your own village. And that is something that is quite neat. I think nobody currently does it better than Foundation. And we have a different game here, but a worthy adversary, as much as that is probably the wrong word. This game begs you to sit down and simply watch, to simply study which of your population, which one of your village members is actually partaking, for example, in building a building, as you can see it right here with this logging camp. It encourages you to watch the actual process as well as it is incredibly detailed and the results are absolutely beautiful. You can see the UI is of course very minimalistic and usually, most of the time I should say, especially if you are still fairly early into expansion, the UI will be flawless because it is just so subtle, it is so behind the scenes that you won't even realize that of course course, you know, you're just building up a supply chain. No, the UI makes it so that you can really feel that people are walking in, people are uh, basically enacting what you will into reality and it creates an absolutely gorgeous playing experience, especially in the first couple of hours. We're looking at a situation, I think, where the UI supports that incredibly well and you can see it right here with the pathfinding as well, or rather with the path creation, with the creation of this granary. Yes, this is literally just a granary, and yet watching it being built is so beautiful. When you start playing this game, even if you don't know what the hell is going on, I can guarantee you that it will be fairly easy for you to build a city or to build a village that looks nice. Because the paths, and then as you can see it right here, even placing down your first actual sort of uh, uh, houses, all of these will fit in perfectly. I think I show it here in a second as well in this footage. You can see that they fit perfectly to the path uh, pathways that you of course put down before that already have been there when the game actually started. And then you plop them down and honestly should most of the time I think just take a bit of a breather, make sure that you have people actually building it and then just enjoy what is going to go down. Because when people start building, when this game actually says, you know what, let's do some construction, it is basically always worth observing. This is a massive strength, I think that even Foundation can't really pull off. Uh, we're looking at a situation where just enjoying the building really, really is present. I was absolutely amazed, I was blown away, I was hoping the Settlers that uh, of course is currently delayed would be exactly this. But yeah, I think when it comes to this aspect, at the very least, the developers weren't kidding about what their game is. As you can see right here, there is of course also something to it. You need to make the people that actually live in your village happy, then they can become a higher tier of population and you can expand your economy. So as you can see here, I make the backyards far too large for my city. It, it doesn't look attractive at all, but when you actually see the result, when things are actually simply being done by the game after you of course draw the very basic framework, they will turn out beautiful. This game has a style stunning visual fidelity. It puts you in a situation where you just enjoy watching this guy carry a bucket of water to who knows where, but it ultimately doesn't really matter because you are here for it nonetheless. The game is absolutely gorgeous, performs uh, quite great as well. I had to turn on the settings just a bit for recording. OBS didn't like it, but that is neither here nor there. And sometimes you will just take the time to watch your village, to watch, uh, watch them walk around, have a good time. 
because this game is truly gorgeous. You're gonna see it here in a second as well. You can see this is the first winter. As per the gameplay loop, I think before the first winter, you should basically just focus on uh, on berry picking, making sure that you have some supply, of course, some firewood as well. And then during the winter, when the berry pickers can't work, I decided let's just build a church. Let's make sure that we have one. And you can see it right here yet again. Even with the more complex structures, it is just such a such a wonderful experience to actually witness them build this building. Um, after you've of course survived the first winter, you can see it right here, building the church takes quite some time. You are then going to be looking at establishing a bit more stable, I think, uh, supply of food. You know, berries are fine for the first winter, but after that, especially as your village grows, you need to grow your economy as well. And that means in this demo, at the very least, going into the direction of grain, of a mill, and of course, of a bakery. All of these things then support a, bi a bigger village, and that ultimately lets you upgrade the houses of your initial population to begin with, making it so that you can advance. Again, as I said, a pretty, I think, uh, standard way of advancing in a city builder. And yet, it all feels so different, because you're looking at a situation where, well, everything is just going its way. Everything isn't just there because it's a supply chain manager, like Anno 1800, for example. No, things are happening because your population needs to live in these areas and is going to execute exactly what it wants to do. Now, the interesting thing about this is that as much as I praise the UI, as much as I praise this experience, I have found myself quite, uh, I think, fast-forwarding quite a bit within the game. Uh, not that that is a negative, I think, because ultimately, of course, this is just a demo. If you're an experienced uh, RTS player or an experienced city builder, then you might just experience situations where you know that everything that you can do has been done. But as you can see, we are now past the winter. We are actually in the spring, and as I said, I have decided to build up my actual grain econ. This is the thing that I noticed about this game, as beautiful as it is, I do think that there are some moments where you don't really have anything to do. And what I mean here is, for example, that other games like Anno 1800, like Foundation, they let you put down certain blueprints. This game currently does not seem to support that at all. Uh, this makes it so that you can only put down blueprints when you actually have the resources, which sometimes can mean you put down something and then have to wait. Uh, I would really like it if I could not really uh, pre-plan the city, but rather just plan a bit while the game is running so that I never really run out of resources. As it stands right now, there just are some, I definitely would say, empty moments in the game. Again, not that that is bad, because I think if you're playing this game to optimize, then you're playing the wrong game and you should probably just check out one of the many, many other absolutely great games. Now here I'm putting down the tavern as I'm trying to build up basically the core of my village. I'm trying to make sure that I can actually get all of my population to be happy, because only if they are happy, if they have certain needs that are satisfied, can I upgrade them, which is of course on the left, the uh, second quest here in the actual game. Now they are now harvesting here, you can see the year has progressed, and with the year progressing I have also decided to build my actual manor. This is my Lord Manor, and it is just so gorgeous. I don't know whether I would build it in the same spot, maybe I would build it a bit uh, distanced from the city, but man, there really, really is something to be said for the way this game just makes you love looking at the actual progress of it, which is why, yet again, I'm saying, hey, don't worry too much if there is some empty moments in the actual place a playthrough because you can literally just look at what you're doing. You can literally just look at your beautiful village and man, you're gonna enjoy it. L let me just tell you, the serotonin here is not in short supply. Yeah, where this game really excels is simply making a map, even if you're an inexperienced builder that doesn't know whether this would look good, how this will actually turn out, it will still make it look beautiful. You can see it right here, I made very long backyards because I was mistakenly thinking that that was necessary to actually get some gardens that, you know, where you could grow vegetables or have chicken and so on, but it's not necessary to make it very long, and yet it looks absolutely stunning. Now the other thing that is so cool, I was, I could not stop zooming in and out when I noticed it, but look at this, look at uh, our actual territory here, you can see the streets, the houses as we built them. There's a small visual glitch there, I think it is the wall of my Lord Manor, but I have to tell you, this is absolutely gorgeous. Just imagine having colonized or having settled the entire region right here, and then everything would have this very street-heavy, this, this sort of village-heavy 
uh, depiction on the map. I was so happy seeing that. I mean, it's just very, very impressive. And I think we exclusively now actually have a couple of uh, these beautiful, beautiful shots here from my city, from my village. What is my conclusion of the first, I think, three, four hours that I had with the game? I have to tell you, play the game. This is definitely what you want to do if you're a fan of, again, Foundation, The Settlers and all of the other rather relaxed city builders. This is a game that says, yes, we can do war, although we haven't seen any of that yet. But that primarily says, you know what, why don't you just encourage yourself to just watch a city grow. Just take a look at what your people are doing, what it looks like, what the weather is currently, you know, either doing them a favor with or actually acting against them as the sky clears and we actually see the sun come out. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous game. And I think they have done everything right when it comes to the subtlety of the actual UI, making it so that you are even more immersed. I highly endorse playing this demo, I highly endorse checking it all out and giving it a good shot. And then, you know, let's hope that Warfare turns out just as good as well. Everything in this demo. This is it for me, and I will see you later, alligator.